Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's Deacon Up coming to you again from Power in Unity Ministries. And to start out with, let me tell you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this. If it encourages you, send it forth. Let it encourage somebody else. Get someone else to come and join us. Um, also, I want to tell you we have an email if you want to send prayer requests. I have gotten some on the on the uh, web pub itself, but uh, if you just rather have it personal, we have an email that is power the letter N unity thirty seven at gmail dot com. Again, that is power the letter N unity thirty seven gmail dot com. And uh, I'm watching the inter- I'm, I'm watching my picture on here, and it's kind of slow. That's kind of caught me by guard. Just listening, you don't know, like my words. You ever seen a movie where your words don't seem to match the picture? Well, that's what I was looking at, and wondering if I should start over. But anyway, if you would like to donate at the moment, all we have is the uh, cash app, which is a dollar sign power in, power the letter N unity. So in saying all that, I have a word this morning, and the Lord um, surprised me because, um, believe it or not, and and shame on me, I haven't actually said the nation, the country of Nicaragua, and I may be trying to pronounce that wrong, and I apologize if I do, but he began to speak to me about that country, and I'm like, okay, I want to hear this. They They need to hear something. All the countries of the world need to be here in something in special because God has people everywhere and they're praying and they need to know he cares. And then the next thing I heard was Canada. And I'm like, okay, Lord, if that's how you want to go today, I'm well, I'll am well. i sit right here and do whatever it is you ask me to do. So that's how we're going to start out this morning. We're going to start out talking to the country of Nicaragua. And uh, thank God for his love, for his people everywhere. You know, God is love. And you may say, well, you know, I've lived all my life for God and and I've done this and I've done that. So, you know, I have more love of God than you have. No, no, no. That's not how God's love works. That's not how, how, how he works. It doesn't matter if you're the vilest sinner on earth. His love is as for you as it is for me and whosoever. We, a lot of times, those who have such a hunger and a desire to be close to him can feel him more or they can hear from him more, but that doesn't mean they that God loves them more. Does that make sense to you? Because God is love. He's nothing but love. That's who he is. He is spirit and he is everywhere. He is awesome. So when he picks out a particular nation, it's because they have reached out to him supernaturally and he is supernaturally answering them. So Nicaragua, listen to what he has to say to you. You think I have not seen the enemy has to, has stolen your hopes and dreams. Before me, your prayers have come up and I am coming to fill your cup. Because you are small, you thought I didn't care, but I spread my love everywhere. Nothing gets past me. I see the deepest valley and the smallest tree. My God, how big he is. I know the ins and the outs of every heart, and I am coming to give you a jump start, a revival to spread quickly across your land, touching every woman and man. Your land is very rich And as I give it a little twist, you will see what has been hidden beneath thee. Ooh, hallelujah, Moshalamai, secrets of God. Beware of the devil's snare. Knowledge will increase, sin will decrease, but be careful not to divide or put me aside. As you begin to grow, let your faith in God show so that others may see what happens when a nation turns to me. What a a message, what a revelation. Because with great wealth and great knowledge, the devil tries to really creep in and take. 
And that's what God is warning him about. He says, you, your land is really rich. And with me giving it just a little twitch, you will see what is hap- what is beneath thee. Beware, he then says, of the devil's snare, knowing knowledge will increase and will decrease. Be careful not to divide or put me aside. As you begin to grow, let your faith in God show so that others may see what happens when a nation turns to me. Israel is a good example. Every time they begin to increase, they put God to the side. And when he lifted his hand and let, you know, let them do their thing, they ended up back in bondage. Come on, people. God's talking to you. Nicaragua, he loves you. He loves you. And then this is what he had to say to Canada. Canada, you are in a mess, but I am coming to give you rest. On my name, you have been calling, and I'm going to keep you from falling. Many of my people live there, and I have been preparing them everywhere. You never know what's going on behind the scenes with God Almighty. Many of my people live there, and I have been preparing them everywhere to come forth as shining lights without fear or fright. They have been in my quiver. I have been filling them like a river that will overflow wherever they go. They will rise to the top and they will not stop till they have recovered their land for the great I am. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be to God. When you're put in God's quiver, and he fills you like a river, and it comes flowing out and and puts you on top, hallelujah, you will recover your land for the great I am, my Lord and my God. He puts a fire. Oh, let me not get ahead of myself. He goes on, there is much beauty to be seen as you revive your hopes and dreams. There is much riches underground yet to be found. I am releasing flowing rivers from my quiver. How many times has he said this? As we, as they lift me high, the Christian flag waving in the sky, my heart's desire to, for as many will catch on fire. As your nation, I rearrange many souls gained. There will be a great upheaval for I am dealing with evil. Ooh, hallelujah, as my river flows throughout your land, I will be in command. You hear what he's saying. Canada, hear what he's saying. I'm going to go back just a couple verses. I am releasing flowing rivers from my quiver. As they lift me high, the Christian flag waving in the sky, my heart's desire is many will catch the fire. As your nation I rearrange, many souls will be gained. There is a great upheaval for I am dealing with evil. You don't have any fear. God's got it in control. As my river flows throughout your land, I will be in command, spreading love and joy to every girl and boy. Hear what he's saying. To sift your children Satan's desire, but I am coming to set their souls on fire. That's his desire, people. Moms and dads, we need to be praying. Grandparents, we need to be praying. Teachers, pastors, we need to be praying for our children. Our children's what he wants. Holy Messiah, help them help them to hear, Lord. There is a great upheaval, for I am dealing with evil. As my river flows throughout your land, I will be in command, spreading love and joy to every girl and boy. To sift your children, Satan's desire. But it, I am coming to set their souls on fire. Be watchful. Pray on your knees and your children will not be deceived. 
Come on, we have a responsibility, moms and dads. The enemy has been seen and you have heard victory to you is my word. <laughs> he didn't mess around. He said it just like it was. Hallelujah. The enemy has been seen and found out. <laughs> and you have heard victory to you is my word. Canada, he's speaking to you. Unity will win every battle. For when you unify the cages of hell, you rattle. Let love flow forth. It will change your nation's course. Be strong and steadfast in me and miracles will happen with great victory. Ooh, hallelujah. It doesn't, he's not, he's not just talking about the land. He's talking about your family. He's talking about those wayward children. And they're going to come home. Hallelujah. Ooh, shanala Messiah. Oh, hallelujah. Your children will not be deceived and be watchful and pray on your knees. The enemy has been seen and you have heard victory is to you, my word. Unity will win every battle For when you unify The cages of hell rattle Let love flow forth As it changes your nation's course Be strong and be steadfast in me And miracles will happen With great victory My Lord and my God He has spoken His word over you As a nation my Lord and my God, it doesn't matter how small the nation is. It doesn't matter how great the nation is. God is to be in charge for it to flourish and be victorious. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. So much of him. Oh, hallelujah. My, how rich, how rich is his word. When people pray, God hears and he answers. He doesn't stutter with his answer to you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I've heard your prayers, Nicaragua. I've heard your prayers, Canada. I'm coming. I've heard your prayers, America. I'm coming. I've heard your prayers, Japan, I'm coming. In the Netherlands, in Finland, I've heard your prayers, and I'm coming. He has spoken to, to many nations, to many of his prophets. I'm just one. I'm just one. And I don't know what he has said through others, because God does not let me listen. He doesn't let me hear. He, my husband tells me all the time, you just got to hear this preacher. You just got to hear her today. That message is so right on. And I cannot. I want to with all my heart. But God said, if you listen, you may be influenced. And I want to talk to you my way. So I can. But I pray for them all. I pray for them all. Hallelujah. Now, he's not finished with us. I've got another word. And he says this to the world, this world about to see the power of prayer to the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, the power it has against sin when things look dim. We are coming, he says, with a mighty force that will change earth's course. For this earth is mine, and in my time, with just a little turn, minds will open to discern what they thought was good was not. Now to corruption they put a stop. It's up to us. We're his hands, his feet, his mouthpiece. That's who we are. We're little, little pieces of Jesus running around. Praise be unto God. I want to read that and go on. This world about to see the power of prayer to the Holy Trinity. The power it has against sin when things look dim. He says, we're coming 
with a mighty force that will change earth's course. For this earth is mine, and in my time, with a little turn, minds will open to discern what they thought was good is not. Now to corruption, they put a stop. Hear this. On our coins, it says, in God we trust to return to Christ a must. Faith will be released and we again will know peace. Not the peace, the world, not as the world sees peace, but in Christ, as in Christ, we increase. Our hearts again rest in the midst of the trials and tests. You hear what I'm saying. You hear what he is saying. On our coins, it says, in God we trust to return to Christ a must. Faith will be released and we again will know peace. Not as the world sees peace, but as in Christ we increase. Our hearts again rest in the midst of the trials and tests. Now that's saying something. But we can do that in Jesus we can rest in the midst of the trials and tests. All we got to do is hit our knee and say, Woe is me, Lord, help. And he's right there. The word says we would be tried, but with the Holy Ghost being our guide, we will breeze right on through as to Christ we stand true. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah to the Lamb. So hold on tight. We are in for a fight, but the battle is already won at the cross by my son. Who is that talking to us now? Can you see the change if Jesus is talking, if the Holy Spirit is talking, if the Father is talking? They're three in one, yet they're separate. They have different degrees, different jobs to say it mildly. The word says we will be tried, but with the Holy Ghost being our guide, we will breeze right on through. As to Christ, we remain true. Hold on tight. We are in for a fight, but the battle is already won at the cross by my son. So look up and rejoice all with one voice. Shout to God, be all glory and praise as we talk and walk in him. His way, brushing up against angels' wings. Woo, hallelujah. We in one accord the victory song sing. He don't leave us here alone. Not only is he living in us, but he sends the angels to fight with us. Woo, hallelujah. He says, brushing up against angels' wings. We in one accord the victory song sing. As heaven touches earth earth, his glory cloud burst, spreading peace and joy everywhere as his glory we now share. Together with cords of love we are bound in Jesus, the power of unity is found. <laughs> I want to shout. Ooh, hallelujah to the Lord Jesus Christ and my Father and the Holy Spirit. Hold on tight. We are in for a fight, but the battle is already won at the cross by my son. So look up and rejoice all with one voice. Shout to God, be all the glory and praise as we talk and walk in his ways. Brushing against angels' wings, we in one accord the victory song sing. As heaven touches earth, his glory cloud burst, spreading peace and joy everywhere as his glory we now share. Together with cords of love, we are bound in Jesus. The power of unity is found. Does he not say a three-strand cord cannot be broken? My Lord and my God. Just a few scriptures I want to leave with you. 
Isaiah 45, 3 says, I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summoned you by name. It would be why, and <laughs> you summoned you by name, talking about King Gyrus here, how he was prophesied a hundred years before he came. God was going to deliver and it's good to read that whole chapter 45, 46. I just took a little piece out of there to show you there's hidden treasures. And then he says in Matthew 40, 13, 44, again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasures hidden in a field. When a man finds it, he is for joy overjoyed and he goes and sells everything he had so he can buy that field. Hallelujah. The hidden treasures is not just the silver and the gold that's underneath the earth or the or the costly arrays or the or the um, uh, what do I want to say metals of any kind, uranium, whatever is hidden under there that causes nations to flourish. But it's that peace in God, that assurance in him you are bound. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.10 says, I appeal to you, brethren, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no division among you, that, but that you be in unity in the same mind and the same judgment. The same mind in unity, brethren. He's talking about that unity, my goodness. He gave us that name, that title, power and unity for our ministry. It wasn't just over a ministry. It meant this is his way, his will. He is our perfect example. Creation of every kind, everywhere and every galaxy was made by the unity of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Perfect examples. As uh, Ephesians 4, 1 through 6, we've read it many times. I therefore, prisoner of Jesus Christ, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. With all humility, humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to obtain the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit. And just as you're called into one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. Praise his holy name. Can't say it enough. Philippians 127 says, only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. My Lord and my God, he speaks of unity throughout the scripture. Romans 12 and 5 says, So we being many, one body in Christ, and ind but individually members of one another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. If or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberally, he who leads with diligence, and he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. And it goes on and on. See, a lot of people in the body of Christ, the reason they come against each other is because they see something different in that person or that person may, okay, we're talking out of the box here. That's not how it's usually done. That's not how we do it. So, you know, we're going to shun from you because that's not how we do it. But God is not in a box and he doesn't want us to be in a box. If he says, I want you to carry a, a cross across the nation, a cross on your back across the nations, you will do that if you're, if you out of the box. If he says, I want you to, uh, oh, I can't even think of anything right now. I'm looking at the clock. I'm sorry. But anything, if it's different than what is going on, kosher to what you see in, in the, in the, uh, in the church world, don't be afraid to step out. God's got plenty of ways to, to, to minister and to heal people and to touch people. Many ways that we can't even imagine. I think of that, um, 
in Isaiah 6 chapter where the angels are going around the, the Lord of hosts saying, holy, holy, holy. And to me, every time they said holy, it was like, holy, holy, holy. Because every time they even did a micro inch around, they saw a different part of God. You can't box him in. In the natural mind, you can, but in the spirit, he is everywhere. You can't box God in. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the last one I want to say is, is Psalm, a very familiar Psalms 133. One says, behold, how good and pleasant it is when brethren join together in unity. They're unified. Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to read it over and over because every time I read it, I, I get so excited about what he has said to the body of Christ, to Canada this morning, and to Nicaragua this morning. He is speaking to your hearts. He's speaking to his people everywhere. So do not despair. He sees and he knows and he cares. I'm going to say goodbye for this morning or this afternoon. I actually, I got it this morning, but didn't type it up till this afternoon. But anyway, I want you to know how much I love you. But God loves you so much more. 